Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I decided to make a bird box specifically for a robin. So I've been going on some winter walks recently and I've noticed a few uh, robins flying around especially with their red breast they're really easy to spot. So I did a little bit of research and I found out that an open fronted style of bird box is uh, the best box to attract a robin into your garden and they also attract uh, flycatchers and pied wagtail birds too. So the first thing I did was uh, just drew up a quick basic design. And the wood I'll be using for this one, um, there's a few pieces of scrap pallet wood and there's a piece of pine which I recently found in my loft. Which have been up there since before I moved into the house. So I thought it'd be a good idea to recycle it in this way. So I started off by um, marking up a, a section for the back of the box. And that would be around 9 inches in length. And then I just used one of the sides to work out um, how big I want the base to be. So I want the, the end of the base there to sit flush with the sides. And you'll see how it all goes together later on. So now I'm marking up for the base. And cutting that on the motor saw. So now I wanted to work out the pitch of the roof. So I'll put the set square of the speed square, square against a piece of wood and I worked out that I wanted a roughly a 30 degree angle so now I'm marking up the uh, section for the roof And I want to make a mitre cut here of 30 degrees for the two side pieces. So I set my mitre saw to 30 degrees. And these side pieces I'll cut down to the correct size later on. I just need to get the, um, the 30 degree angle cut first so now I need a, a bevel cut on the roof and the back of the box and that again will be 30 degrees and this will allow the roof to line up flush with the uh, the back of the box but you'll see that later on and you can see there how it's going to fit together now I'm just checking that the angles all line up okay So now I want to get the uh, the base attached to the back of the box. And I just used a clamp to assist me. And then I'm just using some uh, standard wood screws to connect it all together and some wood glue. I 
and now I've got those side pieces cut perfectly to length. So now I just wanted to attach the lid on, so I put plenty of glue on here. So I then drilled some pilot holes and I decided to use uh, ring nails rather than screws for the roof just so that it looks a bit neater. So now I just wanted to make the front section so I just offered up a piece of that pine and um, just marked the amount that I wanted and I'm going to screw this on with no glue so that in the future if I need to clean the box out I can just unscrew this front piece and then uh, clean out whatever's in the box. So now to attach the box to a tree, I used um, this metal fixing, which you would usually use to uh, hang a picture frame. Then I added some drainage holes in the bottom And then I just gave it all a light sanding over with a 60 grit sandpaper just to remove any splinters. Now it's time to give it a finish. So for the main body of the box, I used a gray decking stain. And for the roof, I used a furniture stain and the colour is teak. So when that was dry, all there was left to do was uh, fit it to a tree. And it turned out nice and chunky and heavy, so it should last quite a while. So I don't have any 
big trees in my garden but there's uh, like a privet bush you can see there and uh, there's a, a stem on it that's strong enough to hold the box and in the springtime those leaves will grow around the box and give it some cover which I've uh, read that robins appreciate so just as I put the box up you can see already there was a robin sneaking around checking out the box and he's probably the one who's gonna claim it as his hopefully so thank you very much for watching and uh, if you found this video useful please leave me a like and also consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos and as always thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.